Hey everybody, this is Alex, known as Alex by Design on Poshmark, Instagram, and Mercari. Um, I have been struggling to start my YouTube channel. I've done a uh, intro video that I hated, and I did a thrift haul video that I hated because it was too long. But um, I went to the bins today, um, and I had the best luck. It was the biggest breakthrough for me. I've really needed something like this, so I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, so long and short here, I just want to let everybody know that this is something that can happen to you too. So these were, this was a big row of bins, um, and it was stale. It had been there for probably at least an hour. I got there an hour after they opened, nobody was over there, and I'm like, you know what, I never go to this row. Three out of the five first items that I found were anthropology. And so that's how it began. I bought 62 pounds, which is the most I've ever purchased. Um, and here is a picture of what my cart and my trunk looked like. I'm going to insert it now. So that happened to me today, and I'm so thankful. I'm leaving for Arkansas on Wednesday, and I told myself I would have 500 listings in my closet before we left and this is gonna this is gonna be the best I've ever seen most of the stuff is gonna go on Poshmark I will let you know that I literally just got home a lot of this is wrinkled needs to be steamed but I want to get this video done and then start working after I help Nick clean the house because he's like I'm all for you working bae but there's a huge list of stuff that we need to do and he's like, don't make me do this on my own. Subscribe, like this, comment with anything that you want to see more of or if you have anything that you'd like to see me never do again, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. So the first item, this is going to be a wash one. This is the label. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's like Fackinable, something like that. But it's just, it's a um, jacket. It is a zip up. Um, it's red in color with a cuff on the sleeve and the buttons. Super cute. I think that's going to be a nice good to go. Um, I don't know what to price it at, but I'm thinking like $35. Um, I actually found, at first I went past all of these, but I've been thinking about expanding the men's clothes that I put in my closet, and I think that these would be a good kind of bread and butter. Um, so I saw one, and then I saw like six more. Like seriously, these bins were ridiculous. So these are PacSun. I think these are men's. Yeah, they're 30 by 32. I have some more and I'm probably just gonna pop past them. But they're a straight leg jean, almost skinny. They might actually be skinny. Um, this is a newer label by PacSun. Um, and you know, honestly, I'll probably price these at like $25 a piece because I think they only retail for like 50 or 60. So that's those guys. Um, I did buy this because Leopard and Cheetah are really in style right now. It's only exhilaration, but it's a size extra, extra large. Let's see if we can get that label to show. Extra, extra large. It's got the faux collar. Um, it has, you know, just the leopard all over. It's in really good shape. I don't, I don't think I looked to see if there's any tears. There's no tears! This one I'm super excited about. I'll probably price that at $25, depending on what comps are. Um, next, I have a Banana Republic. Uh oh, the size might not be on there. Banana Republic. Um, whew, I don't know what to call this style, but it's a sleeveless blouse. It's got the zip up the back. Ooh, look at that. It's got like an asymmetrical back, even. Um, and I do believe that this is linen, it's a size 14 and it is linen and cotton okay so this is j crew factory it's a one sleeve uh black linen dress there's the bottom there are all the wrinkles um i do believe that this is a lot of this too was like from last year so i think this one was 2017 as i was going through i was like in such a high that i was curious to know how much certain i or what how old certain items were so I was looking at dates and I was like, oh my God, it just keeps getting better. All right, next I have a Boy Fit Flannel by J. Crew. It's also factory. Those two dots down here, that means that it's a factory item, um, which I just found out is not gonna be a thing anymore. Um, look into it, but as far as 
the like three minutes that I looked into it, um, J Crew Factory and uh, another J Crew aren't gonna have the dots on it anymore, so we're not gonna be able to differentiate between like what's factory, what's not, what's higher quality, what's not. Um, but right now, I do know that this is J Crew Factory. It's a flannel. It's got uh, navy and green, um, and then it's got the buttons. Um, I don't normally pick up Evan Pacone, but I thought that this was a nice, just pleated, A-line dress, polka dotted. It has, um, a belt attached to it. It is new with tags for $99, and here is the label. It's sleeveless, gorgeous. There is a Marshalls tag on it, but it's also got the actual label somewhere. I saw it down here. Hiya. Um, so I thought that this would be, you know, good. I was just such on a, on a roll anyways. Um, okay. Next I have a pair of Gap. I believe these again are linen, um, jogger pants. They have the elastic down at the bottom. So that they're nice and tight, lightweight. These are fall of 2017. Um, and they're a nice, like creamy color. Here is the label. Um, uh, next, this isn't a brand that I, um, am familiar with. I know it, especially from my, um, being a consignment manager experience. I don't know what the comps are, but I love, um, any kind of plaid. So this is Sundance, size large. Here she is. It's a button up. It's a shorter cut, but the fabric kind of feels like, I don't know what to actually call them, but a drug rug. Like it's, it's a rougher cotton blend. So yeah, that's that guy. Um, I haven't had a lot of activewear luck lately, so I did find some, of course, because literally the best day of my life. This is Get Fit. Cute little um, like summer active shorts for the beach. They have the watercolor of like blue, purple, teal, turquoise, whatever you want it to be. And then here is the label. Um, next, another Gap. These are, a lot of these are bread and butter. I don't know if I already said that, if I did. Repeat on, four, five, four. All right, so Gap. This is so, so buttery soft. It's buffalo check. The pocket is um, a different direction than the rest of it. This, I think, again, was like 2017, um, but it's got it's fitted, which is nice, and it has the buttons all the way up the front. Um, and then I love these. I cannot believe they were at the top of a bin and nobody grabbed them. They're loft zebra print shorts. I think they're linen. I'm actually like 94% sure they are. They're double zero. Here's the label. Super cute though. Perfect for vacation or for summer. I don't care what season something is. People live in all different parts of the U.S. It is like 23 degrees in Minnesota right now, but I'm pretty sure it's in the like 70s in Florida. And you know, for us Minnesotans, when we go down to Florida in the middle of the winter, we wear shorts in the 70 degree weather. So I think any season will sell at any time. So yeah, there are the zebra guys. Um, this I absolutely love. It's so smushy soft. This is um, January of 2018. It's Banana Republic. And it's just this striped top. It's got the little um, tie or like wrap down at the bottom. Um, again, super smushy. It kind of feels like a lightweight blanket. I love it. Um, so there's that guy. Okay. This one, I don't have a lot of plus size clothing in my closet and I want to have more. So I did end up picking this up. It's 24 seven by uh, Maurice's, but it's this really soft heathered, um, like light and dark kind of minty color, short sleeved, ridiculously soft. I think that'll be really fun to sell. Uh, and then I did end up picking up, I think this is H&M. No, it's Hollister. So it's a medium large Hollister sweater, oversized cardigan. I'll price this low, but you can't really say no to like a nice kind of almost tweed looking because it's like gray, black, and white. Um, oversized cardigan. 
um, be a good bundling piece. All right, I found a couple of vineyard vines too. So here is the label, vineyard vine size small. It is um, another buffalo, no, this isn't buffalo chick. There's something else, I can't think of the name of it, but it's just a blouse, super wrinkled. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like mint and a periwinkle color actually. Periwinkle is my favorite color right now. Um, all right, so I actually had Nick look up comps for me on these and they were just buried at the bottom of my um, cart by the time he got back to me like, you know, three minutes later. But it's called Mil Mila Mimi. Here's the label. Um, but they're linen shorts and they come with a belt and I actually have a second pair of these. But they're nice, they're black. Oh, that button's kind of cool. Look at this button. Sorry about my nails, by the way. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, they're cuffed at the bottom. And then here's the belt, which is in immaculate shape, of course. Um, here's another pair of the PacSun. Um, I also got these guest jeans for men. They have the button fly in the front, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and then here's the back of them. They're a size 36. I don't know what the inseam is, but they're nice. They're lighter wash. They've got no damage at the bottom. Again, I'm just trying to build up my men's inventory a little bit with stuff that I like. So, um, I kind of agree with a lot of the people that are like, you know, you should have a closet catered to you. You should pick one, um, market that you want to go for, but I'm going to do men's, women's, and kids, but all styles that fit me, um, for Poshmark. And then Mercari, I'm still going to buy for other markets, but there are some styles that I don't like, but I know that other people will, and they'll find a home, and I don't want to just pick and choose from, you know, the bins. If it's in good shape, and I don't want it to go to a landfill, I'll grab it, I'll put it on Mercari, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, okay, so then I found, da 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 a Michael Kors. I think that's an older label, but still. It's a really soft cotton polo. Um, I do believe this is women's, because I'm not sure though. I feel like this brown label is for men, but I'll have to look into that. Um, okay, and then this was a last second pick because I don't have a lot of sweaters in my closet right now. I feel like all I have are shorts and tank tops, and of course I got more shorts today. But I did pick up this um, new with tags. I think it's a Marona sweater. It's a nice teal color. It's a size medium. It's got the braiding in the front. So couldn't say no to that guy. Um, and then I got an American Rag sweater. So again, another one that's like not super wonderful, like comps, high pricing, but it's got um, these really cool sleeves that you'll pull it up to like your elbow and it's um, intertwined red and white in color and here is the label and it's open uh, and then I picked up these cute little girls Joe jeans I don't know what size they are actually oh it's size 7 so here's a little label and then here they are they're just like a little straight leg jean they're so adorable um, they've got just an easy button in the front and zip up and look at those little butt pockets. Oh my God, make me want to die. All right, here's my other vineyard vines that I found. So this is one of their kind of basic, uh, front pocket tees. It's got the distressed vineyard vines on the sleeve and then the big old whale on the back. Um, another active wear. This one I think is Adidas. And I like these, they are like bright mint. Um, here is the label on the inside. So that's those guys. Um, this I'm so excited about, it's a J. Crew black label. I think I need to do a little bit of pill shaving on it, but there it is. It has a zipper up here on the shoulder and then it has another one down at the bottom, which I think is such a cool look. Um, and I think this one was another 2018 as well. So I'm looking at the bottom to see if I can find a date real quick. Oh no, you know what? It's fall of 18 or 14, but that's still not bad. So yeah, so soft. I think it might be wool. I'm really excited about that one. 
Um, next, I have a pair of Lucky Brand men's jeans. They are more of a tan color. They're really wrinkled, but here they are. There's the label. They're 3232. Um, I love Lucky Brand jeans. Lucky Brand and American Eagle is like all I wear, and I'm wearing American Eagle right now. They're so comfy. So they're just like kind of a nice, maybe they're more taupe. And then here's the back. Um, all right, brand new with tags, Banana Republic that I found. It's a blouse with like a dot pattern on it. Sleeveless, here's the pattern. It's black and gray is the pattern. Um, and then it has this really nice, um, Ooh, I can't think of a word, but it makes it more fitted on the back, which is nice. <laughs> I literally can't tell because it's so wrinkled. There's a little seam. There's one on each side. Um, this is a poncho. Not a poncho, it's a another word I can't think of. But it's by Steve Madden, and I've not seen any Steve Madden clothing in the wild before. But here is the label. One size fits most. Huge, um fringe at the bottom. We've got the striping, a big old toggle. It's a black toggle with, I'm sure it's faux leather. Um, and it has a giant hood. So that's this guy. Another brand new with tags. I think this is Loft, which I don't normally pick up Loft, but some of this stuff was like really cute. So I had to. And the reason I don't pick it up is because I've not had any luck selling it in my closet, but hopefully now I'm finding styles that people will be interested in, especially when it comes to bundling and with the holidays. So here is the label. It's a newer label by Loft. It's got big old ruffled tiered sleeves with the eyelet detail. Um, and then here's the body of it. It's kind of like a sky blue color, faded almost. And then this is an original ankle pant brand new with tags from Loft. They are coral in color. Woo, woo. Really nice. All right, now this is another anthropology. It's Meadow Rue. It's a tiered tank top. It has, uh, looks like daisies maybe on the top tier and then striped at the bottom. Um, and then it has this exposed bright green zipper. And here is the label. So there's that guy. Um, I found this boat and I actually passed on it first and then at the end I like saw it again and I'm like, you know what, whatever. I might put this on my car because it has a little bit of wear, but it's boat in. And it's this pretty floral uh, sundress, probably midi length, and it's got cap. No, it's actually short sleeved, but it has a little bit of wash wear on it. So I'm not sure what I'll price that at if I'm going to put it on Poshmark or Mercari. Um, this is a Via Spiga coat. I don't have a lot of coats in my closet right now, so I'm trying to expand that. This needs a little bit of work. It's got some makeup around the collar and a couple little spots. So I'll have to shout that out. But there's the label. It's got a bright green interior, and it's um, an off-white color with uh, more of a tan and that lime green detail. Um, and really cool buttons. The buttons are like silver lined with um, an ivory color in them. And then here's the back. I thought that was way too cool to pass up. All right, and now this is a Notations plus size blouse. I have another Notations in my closet and I love it and I love their blouses so much. Um, but here is the label. I like how the print is on this. It feels like a really lightweight cotton. It's got um, actually a buffalo check underneath the dots. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, see, isn't that cool? Or like a picnic print. But it's um, a half sleeve blouse. <laughs> this is H&M, but I had to because I don't have any ugly sweaters in my, ugly Christmas sweaters in my closet. Look at this baby. Christmas selfie. Ooh, let's go to garage sale sticker of $3 on it. We'll just keep that on my face. This is a Gap Hot Pink Tee, perfect shape. It's uh, got cap sleeves on it. Um, it's a scoop neck. Oh, these are American Eagle um, shorts. Again, I've just, my heart is all about American Eagle. They're maroon in color. They're um, cutoffs. They're really cute, perfect shape. Here is the label. 
Super, super stretch. Pretty great. There's size six that fit me. <laughs> and then I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on Posh or Mercari yet, but they're cut from the cloth jeggings. And they're black. Here's the label. Move it, Jennifer. Ultra skinny. So they're just like a basic jegging. All right, give me one second. I've got, I'm about halfway through. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but I've got another pile in my bed. So give me a second. All right, part two. Thanks for bearing with me. So if you remember from before, I had those black Mila shorts. So here's the other pair. They're tan in color. There's the label again. Again, they come with the belt, linen, cuffed, really cute button. And that same button is on the um, pockets as well. And then another J. Crew Factory. This is a blouse, but it's really stretchy, so I guess I would call it a knit top. There is a label with the dots on the bottom that's tiered, and it is super, super green, like a, even brighter than a grass green. That uh, was because there's deodorant on it, but it's not actually that disgusting. And then I found this really pretty gray, white, and yellow floral with a tie Lafayette 148 dress. Really stretchy, no wash wear, short sleeve. Um, I really like this sweater. <laughs> it's Sparrow, which is by Anthropology. This was one of the first ones that I found when I started having a heart attack. So there's that label. Big ol' hood. It's got an attached belt, and look at those pockets, and it's long sleeve, and there's just so many different colors in it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then the front is a button-up. This is probably my favorite. It's BDG, which is um, occasionally sold at Anthropology as well. And it's navy and red got the buttons up the front and then the pockets the print is going in different directions which is cool um, I have a angel of the north I found a lot of angel of the north which is another anthropology brand and it is a black basic um, it's a mock neck sweater kind of cool I would wear it with a scarf um, all right, my first time finding new label cabbie. I found a couple of them. So here is the new cabbie label. I have cabbie in my closet right now. This is the older labels, and it's just sitting there. So I hope these go a bit faster. It's a sleeveless blouse. It's got red and then the floral in it. Let's see. There's like purples and lighter pinks. Um, not your daughter's jeans. Uh, just a pair of basic black jeans. I don't really sell this brand very often, um, but I thought I'd just give her a shot anyways. Um, but they're a straight leg jean, super basic. I think this is another cabbie, yeah. So I got the cabbie again. This is like a reptile lime green, button up with the ruffles. I actually bought this for myself because I have a swimming suit problem, but it's just a Morona or Exhilaration, one of the two, um, like bralette swimsuit. It's really cute. Exhilaration. All right, another pair of the men's pack suns. Another pair of the men's pack suns. Uh, Victoria's Secret Sport. These ones need a little bit of shaving. So these are just basic leggings. Really good shape other than like they were washed with something else that just attached itself to it. Um, Chico's I don't sell a lot of, but I really like this basic open, I think it's an open blazer. Here's the label. Here's the blazer, it's cut and it's got the dips in the front. Really cute. Um, I'm just gonna put this up really cheap, but it's another um, swimsuit top. It's Morona. 
There's the label. And it is a tankini top with two straps. And then the back has a low back with an opening built-in bra. Um, next is this teal colored HD in Paris, which is a anthropology brand textured a-line dress or summer dress it's got the tie in the front really fun eyelet detailing oh foxcroft i love paisley and anything that looks like paisley so here's foxcroft it's 12 petite look at that print it's gray pink white blue button up They found two or three of these. It's Ann Taylor Petite Silk Blouses. I don't know what the comps are on these, but I almost screamed when I saw them. This one's uh, looks like a cheetah print, blue, um, navy, tan, and white. It's a 100% silk blouse. It's got gathering on the sleeves a little bit. Ooh, it's a gap fit so I really like this too again I'm trying to increase my active wear this is just a lighter weight heathered um, sweatshirt with um, actually it's pink I thought it was red pink and white and then it's got this tie around the neck in case you like choking yourself um, J. Crew chinos Because why not? I usually see like size zero and two, so I was kind of excited to find these. And I see now that they have a ton of wear on them. <sighs> I may not be able to sell these. I don't think I would comfortably feel good about it. So here's my first dud that is in the crotch. All right, and this is Joie. It is size medium. It's a sleeveless blouse with crocheted or lace um, around the shoulders. Ooh, look at that. And the front has the kind of pleated look. All right. Only one free people today. <laughs> Only one. It's fine. So here's free people. It is a long tunic sweater. So it uh, has a bunch of different colors in it. Oh, it looks like it's kind of just a, like a vine print. And then, oh, wow. You guys probably already saw this, but it's got that leather braid across the front. That's super cool. Um, next is a Walter Baker blouse, and it, this one's cropped, and it's black and ivory in color. It's got adjustable spaghetti straps on it. They're pretty tight right now. There is the label. Um, this is another brand I'm not familiar with. It's but it looks nice and I don't know, I was just on such a roll. I'm like, the list is probably a good brand too. So it's Ciara Sunwoo. It's a sheer blazer kind of jacket thing, shorter, probably three quarter sleeve um uh arms. Hello. It's got a big cuff. It's not attached right now. But it's like super sheer. Sure. See, hi. All right, guys, I promise I'm getting close to being done. Um, I don't know what Forte is, but it's cashmere, and you can't go wrong with cashmere. Um, and it's got black and two shades of gray, 50 shades of gray. And it, it's just an open sweater. Again, I like the print. I couldn't really say no because you can't have too many sweaters in your life. At least I can't. This was another one of the first ones that I found before I really had a heart attack. So this is a moth uh, grass green. It's, it's a lightweight cardigan, so this will be really good for the spring. But again, I will put it up now. It's got a big tie attachment that is needing a little bit of cinching through. One of them's like 17 feet long and the other one's like three inches long. So I'll fix that. Um. Oh, and I've never found this brand before, but it's a button front um, 
skirt. It's Bika Chia, maybe? Look at that button in the front, and it's purple. The stitching is all purple, and it's got these fun but or pockets in the back, too. But it's just like all this really nice, really royal purple color. So I was excited to see that, and I wouldn't have picked it up if the RN wasn't just like staring me in the face. Um, a J. Crew just uh, knit heather top. Here's a label. Really like this print. This is Ann Taylor. I think it's the silk blend. Oh, it's just silk. Sleeveless A-line dress. You'll definitely want to wear a slip under this. Actually, you know what? It has a built-in slip. So a nude bra and nude panties. But it's a bigger leopard print uh, with blue, black, orange, ivory. That seems like it's about it. It's kind of a watercolor print. Oh, this is heavy. So I've got Dolan. I think this is Anthropology. I'm not entirely sure. Hello. It's just a basic um, black t-shirt, but it's got this raw trim at the bottom, which is super fun. I'm not sure where it cut me off, but it did at some point. So here is a Levi's pair of jeans that I am hoping are a better brand that I can, or a better, like it's a 5.59, which I don't know if that means that it's more expensive. I'll look up comps, but these are just men's jeans. My file's about to topple over. If my GoPro like falls over, that's why. Um, here's another moth sweater. This is like a burnt orange color. And it's got the cutouts in the sleeve, which is so cool to me. Got that. I found a bunch of Leota. I'm super excited. So here is the label. This one's brand new with tags. It is um, a black and white circular print shorter sleeves super cool what did this retail for I'm curious now it's a secret it's called swirling Leo and it's from fall of 2017 oh I think I remember finding this this is Odile and I think that this might be a um, more intimate wear but it's got, um, yeah, this has to be. It zips up the side. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. It's got a hole in it, so it's a bummer. So I'll decrease the price based on that. But it's, it's just a nice little, like, yeah, this has to be intimate wear. Super cool. I'm excited for that. I'll have to look comps up on it. Mm, I found an Excedra dress sleeveless it's heavy cotton it's got the wrap around the breast um, it's a mini dress so it's gonna be a little bit above the knees and this is a teal color packs on jeans um, I think this is Ann Taylor if I remember correctly yeah Ann Taylor the sleeveless um, layering piece so this has the lace in the front it's heavy like this is one of those heavy tops with the heavy knit on the back and then here is what the lace looks like and then this is covered so like it's got the lace detail and then underneath it is like a slip so you just don't have your nipples out um, another Bowden this is a dress it is teal mint um, burnt yellow regular yellow, a mustard. It's cap sleeved. It's got the little belt on it. And here's the label. Almost done. I got probably 10 items left. Like this was the best day of my life. Um, these are Gap double zero little shorts. They've got um, a pink and a coral print on them with pockets. A Bowden sleeveless dress. This has uh, white buttons or uh, fucking beads all over. It's navy. Is it navy or is it black? It's 
black. Even better. Uh, another Angel of the North. Really cute sweater. I thought I saw, oh yeah, some deodorant on it. I think that this is cashmere, at least a cashmere blend. Another Angel of the North. Off-white sweater cardigan. It's got a knot in the back. really good for like a wedding or for going on vacation because we all want to go on vacation always this is a oversized sweater again it's by umji but i liked the color oops sorry and it's got the fringe on it it's open three quarter sleeve i think another leota this is one of the wrap dresses, I think. Oh no, it's not a wrap dress. I have another one of these in my closet, but it's not the same style. Very vibrant, hot pink, black, blue, red. It's got the belt. A Madewell top. Just basic black with a scoop neck. And the pocket, and the pocket. Uh, made well striped dress. I think this is just a t-shirt dress. It is okay, it's a loose fit at the bottom. Short sleeves. Oh, I found this. This is kids, but it's so cute. T is a really good brand by kids. Really high quality. I wish I had a little girl. It's a size five. It's a cute little dress. It's blue, red, white. Got kind of an aztec -y look at the bottom and it's a short sleeve. Here's another one of the Ann Taylor silk blouses that I found. It's really, really dark purple. It's super pretty. And last but not least, actually it's just last, um, is a paisley sweater by Talbots. It's 100% merino wool. There's the label. And it's just a little cardigan. I love paisley, so. Why not? If you don't believe me that I love Paisley, it's, it's like literally on my hand. It's all over my arm. So yeah. Well, thanks for being through that. I'm super excited. I'm going to be working like 12 other days for the next three days because here, I'm going to detach this real quick. This is literally what it looks like. Like it is as tall as me. <laughs> well, it goes up to almost my hip. So this is the work that I have cut out for me and I'm so excited. Well, thanks again, you guys. I'll see you next time.